Hi, hello and welcome to Stick and Tarn. I'm Dawn and today I'm doing a, um, it's just at the end of September here in the UK and today I have been harvesting some of the rose hips that are ready and I'm going to do a raw pack uncooked uh, rose hip syrup. So, here we go. Right, that's the rose hips I've just been out and picked. And I've just given them a wash. I've made sure all the stalks are taken off. And basically you need your jam jar with a lid and you need some sugar. Um, now what I was reading said that because it's uncooked, um, it retains more of the vitamin C, which makes sense. You're not cooking the vitamin C out. So a layer of sugar in the bottom of your jar. Your rose hips are washed and you want to take off the little flower end. And you want to score lightly through the skin all the way around. Like that, very simple, and drop it in your jar. So we do a whole layer of those, and you need to score it so that the sugar can penetrate into. Uh, the rose hip and, um, and it helps to extract the, the juice. So we just keep going until we've got them all done. So we do a layer of rose hips, then a layer of sugar and a layer of rose hips and a layer of sugar until our jar is full. So I'm going to carry on with these and I'll show you when I've got my jar full. Right, that's my jar full. Layers of uh, rose hips and sugar. And um, lid is on. Now that just sits there on the side and over the next few weeks all of this will just turn to liquid. And then you, um, let me pop that back up, you strain the syrup through either a coffee filter, a um, bit of muslin, bit of cheesecloth, bit of a uh, clean bit of a, oh, what's it called, t-shirt, anything like that, strain it through because of course rosehip has got all them tiny little hairs inside. Um, and you, you don't want them in your syrup, so you want to give it a good strain um, and then it's ready to pop in a bottle and for you to enjoy. So part two will be when all of that has uh, turned to syrup um, and we'll come back and we'll do the next stage then. So rose hips are only just starting to ripen here in South Wales uh, and I usually find I'm a couple of weeks behind everybody else um, so there was only a small amount there ready for picking this morning but I shall carry on picking over the next week probably and get a few more jars on the go so and a handful of rose hips I've got left I'm going to go and um, throw them over the back of the field into the uh, woodland bit there and hopefully we'll get some more roses grow uh wild roses growing right thank you very much don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the notification if you want to see part two of this video and everything else that's coming up and i'll catch up with you again soon